Hey guys, this is Mike Lindo from Skipline. Um, first off, I'd like to thank everybody that tuned in last week for part one of this two-part series um, and welcome everybody to part two. So last week we discussed the importance of gun offsets and how to implement them on your skip line equipment. Um, if you missed last week's video, um, please look at the uh, link at the bottom here in the, in the description or visit our YouTube channel. Um, you can view all of our videos there. Um, this week we want to take some time and talk about stripe length corrections using gun delays. Stripe length correction. Um, basically what we want to do is we want to ensure that both guns are going to spit out the same length skip. Um, in this example, you can see that we're, our desired length is a 10 foot skip. Um, gun one is six inches too long. Gun two is two inches too short at the beginning of the skip, meaning gun one is starting on time, gun two is slow, um, gun two is ending on time, and gun one is hanging on too long. So what we're going to want to do here is um, because stripe one is too long at the end, we're going to fix that with an off delay. Um, some of you may be more familiar with the term gun factor. Uh, that's been around for a long time back into our SM five days um, and on some of the newer or the older uh, SC 12 stuff. So stripe two is where we're going to fix with an on delay. Um, what we're going to do there is we're going to tell that gun to turn on early because it's, it's sticking maybe a, a, you know, a mechanical delay. So rather than maxing out mechanical adjustments on the guns being tightening or loosening spring tension, we can go ahead and do this with time. So how we're gonna come to these delays, um, kind of the math behind it. So this is actually a lot easier than you may be anticipating. Um, we're actually just gonna go to Google. I'm gonna type in six inches divided by 10 miles per hour in the search bar here, hit enter. And that's actually gonna go ahead and give us our millisecond delay here. Um, so you see the formula there and then it's actually gonna populate that 34 millisecond delay. And that's what we're gonna use for our delay for the gun um, off time. Okay, so you'll go ahead and do the exact same thing for gun two. We'll take two inches, and divide it by 10 miles per hour, and that will give us an 11 millisecond delay. And we'll input that, um, into our settings here in just a second. All right, so here we're gonna show you how we're actually going to enter those delays. So we're gonna go through our menu here over to the setup menu. Um, from there, we're gonna go down to the gun setup. So similar to what we did last week um, in entering our offsets, and we'll go ahead and go over, we're gonna skip the offsets and go straight to paint gun delays. Um, if you remember in the example, gun one hung on too long. So we're gonna go ahead and enter a negative off delay for that gun of 34 milliseconds. Um, so to the left, we're going to get negative values to the right. We would get positive values if, you know, if we were talking about, um, a gun that can't, that shut off too early, right. would be a positive delay. Um, in that example, we had a negative on delay on gun two of 11 milliseconds. We'll go ahead and enter that here. So what this has done for us now that we have those delays in there is we have timing set rather than mechanical limits. Okay, so that concludes part two of this video series. Again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching and ask you to like, follow, and subscribe all of our pages. As always, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at skipline.com or by phone at 541-963-0111. Um, going forward, if there's anything that you guys would like to see covered in one of these videos, please give us suggestions. We'd, we'd love to hear it. So from there, everybody have stay safe, have a great weekend, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Mm -hmm.